Hello, and thank you for joining us at Zappies. My name is Jeremy Noy. I'm here with Rusty Staub. And many of you probably know Rusty as being a great baseball legend. But honestly, no offense, Rusty. I, I learned about Rusty Staub, about Burgundy, about food and wine. Um, when I was growing up as a kid, I, unfortunately, I, I, I missed you when you were playing. But I heard about all these great food and wine and restaurant things as I grew up in the restaurant industry. So what's a guy like you so involved with Burgundy for? Well, you know, you, I grew up in New Orleans, which gets you automatically involved in food. Uh, from that point, the truth is, uh, I just started cooking for people, and as it went through many years of me playing, some people realized I was pretty good. So they talked to me about any interest, and eventually I did get involved uh, in the... Uh, in the industry, and the original Rusty's on 73rd and 3rd was there for 15 years. Yeah. And then Rusty Staub's on 5th, which was at 47th and 5th. Uh, we were there for about eight years. And then and then I decided as some other things had to do with my life. The restaurant business is totally encompassing, and I, uh, you know, I'm very involved in two foundations, uh, one under my own name that has emergency food pantries uh, in the boroughs of New York. And the other one is for the widows and children of all the policemen and firemen who were killed in the line of duty. So those two things, uh, I needed to spend more time on them, and I made a decision that I was going to get out of the restaurant business and do it. Right. So we've been doing well with that. We're doing a lot of good. I still work part time for the Mets in kind of an ambassadorial role. Right. So it's uh, it's been a it's been a great run. It's, it's there's no rest for the weary. I can promise you that. But you've been going to Burgundy for 20, 22 years straight now, tasting? This year, this year will be the 21st year that I go to Burgundy and taste. Um, the, the growers there have been so great to me and my foundation and the special wines that they allow me to get in large format. Uh, I talked to guys, you know, 15, 17 years ago about large format. Nobody was doing it. Very few were anyway. And. Uh, now we have a lot of them, you know, we're about the only people they do the large formats right. for. Right, that's true. But they, it's very they, hard to get these wines. They, they absolutely know that this is going into charity effort and that the money is going to go to feed a lot of people. Excellent, excellent. So you've tasted Burgundy, and I'm definitely I have my opinions about the 2006 vintage. What do you think about the 2006 vintage? Well, you know, the 2005 vintage came with such heralded notes before it ever came out. Um, that it, it's always difficult for the next year. I, I, first off, the 2006s are definitely going to drink earlier than the 2005s. Um, I thought they were a little more specific to the terroir round. Right. Uh, the 05 was like 90 in a way, like it was, you know, just this great vintage. It, it wasn't like everything was so different. It wasn't anything that laid out particularly like this is this vineyard, this is that vineyard. Right. Uh, 06 certainly was like that much more, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed the wines. I, I think that uh, anybody that lets this vintage go by is making an error in judgment. Well, I was speaking earlier with Becky, and she spoke so glowingly about your knowledge of Burgundy. So I want to flip the table back. To you, what does it mean for a wine to be a Becky Wasserman selection? Well, you know that uh, she has spent 30 or 40 years of her life uh, understanding uh, small growers and bringing them to the American market. She's the one that started doing that so well. Uh, when she takes on a wine, it's because they believe in it. Right. Um, you know there's, there's going to be a quality to that wine, whether it's a Bourgogne or a Grand Cru, that there's a, there's a reason why they have that wine. And I, it's, a, it's a pedigree that people should, anytime they see that name, Never fear getting that wine. <laughs> well, Rusty, thank you very much for making the trip to Scarsdale to be here. I'm glad you can make it. Taste some great wine while you're here tonight and enjoy. I certainly will. I agree. <laughs> thank you.